DocuSign signing groups allow any member of a group to receive and act on any envelope sent to the group. So in this video, we'll talk about why you'd want to use a signing group, how it works, and how to set one up. And if we haven't met before, my name is Sofian Saudi, founder of SolarSign Consulting, where we help companies automate their sales and customer onboarding workflows. If you need help with a DocuSign implementation or integration, you'll find the link in the description of this video to book a strategy call with me. But for now, let's just go back to signing group. So why would you want to use a signing group in the first place? For example, let's just say that your sales contract must be countersigned once your clients have signed them by your sales reps. If the sales rep who supposed to countersign the contract is off sick or gone on holidays, then the transaction would get delayed until that person signs the envelope. But if you use a signing group instead, that includes all your sales reps in the groups, any sales rep will be able to countersign the envelope, which wouldn't delay the envelope. Signing groups are very helpful when it doesn't matter who should sign the envelope from within that group. The way it works is that all members of the group will receive an email notification to complete the envelope when it's their turn to sign, and group members don't need to have a DocuSign account. And signing groups can only be set up by admin users. Everything starts from the settings tab, and from here you wanna to go to signing groups. If you don't see that option, it means that you don't have the right level of account. Um, a business pro won't be enough. You'll need to reach out to DocuSign and potentially get an upgrade with a minimum of 500 envelopes per year, which will be more expensive. So if you don't have the signing groups and you're not ready to commit to a, an expensive upgrade, you might wanna check out the video on delegated signing, which allows one user to nominate another user to sign envelopes on their behalf. Uh, I've linked this video in the description just down below. So once you've got the signing groups option uh, right here, you can create a new group. From here, you wanna give it a group name. So let's just call this sales rep. And you can also use a, another email for notifications sent to that group. So instead of having all the envelopes to be sent to everyone's uh, standard email addresses, you can use another uh, email address if you want to see so if everyone is using, I don't know, like a shared email that can be uh, very useful. I'm not gonna do this uh, in this tutorial, but just click on save and you know that the option is available. Once you've created the group, then you can go within the group and assign users. Now, a signing group can have 200 uh, users. You can quickly add users from your account, but you can also add users manually. So that means that you can add anyone, even if they're not part of your DocuSign account, and even if they don't have a DocuSign account at all. I'm not gonna do it here. You just get the idea, just add the name and email, and then you're done. But I'm going to assign both of those users inside my group. Once I click on assign, the next step will be for me to add that group to my workflow in an envelope or a template. So I'm gonna do this in a template. And if you're not 100% sure how templates work, I've prepared a cheat sheet that walks you through how to get started with templates, recipients, and fields. You can download it using uh, this link just uh, right here. And I've also pinned it in the description of the video. So this is an existing template. Um, if I scroll down here, you can see that I am supposed to be signing this, um, counter signing this uh, agreement once the client has signed because I'm, in, I'm signing in position two. I don't wanna be the bottleneck for this particular transaction. I want to allow any of the sales reps to counter sign the, the document once the client have signed the agreement. So what I can do is remove myself from here and then I'm gonna type the name of the signing group instead. And so the name is sales rep. So I'm just gonna click on sales rep and that's it, I've got my signing group set up. From now on, all their sales reps will be able to countersign um, this agreement. And they will, of course, all receive the email notification inviting them to sign. Now, I post DocuSign related videos on a weekly basis. So if you want to be notified on new features and better ways to use DocuSign, don't forget to hit subscribe and feel free to stay for another 10 seconds just to see what other videos YouTube wants you to watch. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.